Hey, this is Mike. Thank you so much for choosing this video. Today I'm in Wilmington, North Carolina visiting Parkway Subaru and I'm checking out a 2018 Subaru WRX STI. Now this is one of 200 very rare STI in 2018. It's the 50th anniversary edition. Now we're actually checking it out on the actual anniversary, February 15th, 50th anniversary of Subaru in America. So to start off, uh, Nathan, one of my friends here at Subaru, he's gonna show off some of the main overview features of the anniversary edition, and then I'll go into more details uh, later in the video. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, my name is Nathan Kolk uh, with Mike's Car Info here at Parkway Subaru in Wilmington, North Carolina. Um, you can see my channel and me, you, and Subaru um, on YouTube as well. Um, today we are here with the 50th anniversary Subaru WRX STI Limited. Um, and it just so happens to be February 15th, which is the actual 50th anniversary of Subaru in America today. Um, I'm gonna give you a few of the highlights for the 2018 uh, STI, as well as the key noticing factors um, for the 50th anniversary STI. Um, starting up up front, new for the 2018, um, we have the LED headlights, but these ones are actually steering responsive headlights. Um, that is a new feature for the 18. Um, and the grille has been slightly redesigned, just a more aggressive look. Um, with the Subaru symbol there in the center. Um, we move around the side here and you'll really start to notice some differences. Um, the first thing that pops out are these yellow brake calipers. Um, those are new for 2018 um, and they just stand out and you can point out any STI by those. Um, a 50th anniversary trademark here um, are these high luster aluminum alloy dark gray uh, rims here, eight and 19 inch rims. Um, so we got those there and then we'll keep on moving around here any of the silver you're seeing, a lot of it is for the 50th anniversary. Um, we also notice the badge here. Um, there's also one on the other side. Um, it says 50th anniversary edition. There are only 200 of these STIs made and we're lucky enough to have one here in Wilmington, North Carolina. Um, we're gonna keep moving around. Um, we'll enter in the inside of the STI. And the first thing you're probably noticing uh, is the silver seat belt and the 50th uh, anniversary seats. Uh, so you get the silver seat belt is only on this 50th anniversary. Um, all the silver stitching inside on the seats, um, even on the inside of the door, uh, we'll get a shot of that. Um, and the, the emblems on both the driver and passenger seat are special for the 50th anniversary. So we move around the back side of here. Um, you'll notice in the back seats, some of the styling is continued. Uh, the silver stitching all around the seats. On the inside of this door, you have the silver stitching as well in the popping uh, seat belts, silver as well. Um, so that's a really nice feature to have. Uh, we continue to move around the back side of it. Everyone knows the STI for its big wing. Some people absolutely love it and some can't stand it. Uh, I think it's pretty cool to have on there. Um, we continue to move around the back and you see once again, lots of silver on here. Some of it's standard and has been here before, but the silver around the STI logo is uh, a different color. Um, and so that's new. Once again, my name is Nathan Kolk. I really appreciate Mike inviting me out here to shoot this video with him. Um, you can find more information about me and Parkway Subaru uh, on my Facebook page, Me, You, and Subaru. And my YouTube channel is the same, Me, You, and Subaru. Uh, and all over social media uh, with that same name. Um, I can help out anyone really in the entire Southeastern United States. I said there's only 200 of these. So if this one in particular stands out to you, um, contact me through Facebook um, or even YouTube and I will uh, do my best to help you guys out. Uh, thanks again. This STI is sitting on 245-35 Yokohama tires, wrapped around 19-inch alloy wheels in a smoked chrome. It also has four-wheel disc brakes, high-performance disc brakes that are ventilated and cross-drilled on all four wheels with a Brembo braking system. And check out the color there for the STI in 2018 they have a very bright neon popping out through the wheels it really grabs your attention the name of this color is heritage blue now this is an exclusive color only to the anniversary edition vehicles on subarus in 2018 so if you see a subaru in this color then you'll know that it, this is the anniversary edition Okay, so here in the front, you can see the grill is slightly different. And it has a simulated carbon fiber here in the center portion 
as well as around here. Gloss black grill with the STI badging. Then you have a large intercooler uh, portion here. It scoops the air. It's like a ram air type thing, but it's not really ramming it into the engine as far as an intake. It's to scoop the air to run it through the intercooler. So the intercooler is uh, for the turbos. The turbos are run off of the exhaust pressure, which heats up a little bit of the intake air, and the intercooler helps cool that air back off before it actually reaches the en engine cylinder. So that's, we'll go into that a little bit more when I lift the hood. Now the headlights, they're LEDs in a projector tube for your low and your high beams with an uh, LED daytime running light around the outside. Now these are also, for 2018, they are steering responsive. So as you turn the steering wheel, they will move slightly to kind of give you a better, better angle uh, as far as you know your visibility at night. Here's your badge on the side. It's on both sides of the vehicle. So your 50th anniversary badge, and then you have the smoke chrome there on the side with the S STI badging. So looking at the profile of the vehicle, Handles are body colored, side mirror, the top portion is body colored. And what really stands out to me looking at the profile is the uh, the wheel calipers. You know, they have that really bright uh, neon color there standing out. Of course, the large wing on the back, the spoiler back here, that just really makes it scream STI when it's going down the road. This is what the key fob looks like. And you notice it has that smoke gray there on the side. So this is a proximity key system. So you can just keep the key with you and you can use the vehicle 100%. It does have a physical key on the inside in case you need it. The buttons are to lock. The center blue portion is unlock. Ability to open up the trunk and a panic button. So let's go ahead and push that panic button and see what happens. So it just basically beeps the horn, flashes the lights. So as long as you have the key with you, it could be in a pocket, a bag or whatever, as long as it's within a close proximity of this door or the driver or the passenger side, you can put your finger over this little sensor here. You can see it's indicated by these two marks. Just play the, place it there for just a brief second. It'll lock the doors. To unlock it, you simply put your hand behind the handle. Now it has to be on the, this key has to be on the outside of the door. If you're inside with the key, somebody can't just open the door. So as long as you have the key with you on the outside, just put your hand behind the handle. It senses the key within a close proximity. It senses your hand position and allows you access to the vehicle. Okay, so let's take a look here on the passenger side door. Now it's all black except for the silver stitching here in the suede around your arm so this is your suede portion here and here and then you can see it's it kind of looks like a white since it's in contrast with black but it's actually that same silver that the seat belts are you have the gloss black around the controls and a handle here you can utilize that space for a little storage space if you want and there's a bottle holder and storage space there as, as well. So it has the Harman Kardon sound system. And there's one of the speakers. So it looks like one speaker there in the door. In addition to the suede here and here, you also have another soft touch surface. That's at the very top. And it extends all the way back here and all the way up around in this area. The rest of it is the uh, hard plastics. Here's your threshold with a seal plate that says STI. Okay, so you have manually adjusted seats here for the passenger side, and it has that silver stitching here, as well as the center portion. Now, this is what the window sticker describes as ultra suede. So I'm assuming that's a synthetic type suede material and synthetic uh, leather is what I'm assuming. Now these are Recaro seats, and it has the embroidery here with the 50th anniversary, that gold portion there looking pretty cool. Now for Recaro seats, these are 
these are not overly bolstered like some of them it does have some significant bolsters here on the sides but the bottom portion is uh is not too bad as far as getting in and out it's just about a regular about as easy as a regular seat uh, but it does have a little bit of a stronger bolster there in the back here's the floorboard in front of the passenger seat you can see there's a little bit of tapering right in here but overall nice and wide open seats all the way back and i'm going to leave all the specifications the volumes, the measurements, all that stuff in the description, and there will be a link to where you can find a whole bunch of information as well. So right in here is the gloss black, just like the door, and then you have a soft touch dash with a simulated leather texturing, non-reflective, locking glove compartment with a smooth plastic on the inside. And since it's a Subaru, it does have the ability to add a roof rack here. So you can see the little places where it's subtly just out of the way when you're not using it, but you have the ability to attach that roof rack. The back door is similar to the front in that it has the soft touch surface here. And then you have the suede here and here with the stitching, piano black portion, and then you have the bottle holder. So it's just very similar. It just has a slightly smaller door Okay, so the back seats, uh, these are not the Recaro seats. These are just regular Subaru seats, I suppose. Uh, it does have the same stitching and suede there in the center portion. Also the latch system for car seats. Now I notice it has the silver seat belt straps um, here on the sides, but the center portion is the black one. So I guess it makes it blend in a little bit better. Now you have an armrest that folds down. It does have some cup holders, soft to the touch. Pocket on the back of the front seats, both of them. Now this seat's all the way back, just to give you an idea of the leg room. And like I mentioned, I'm going to add all the specs in the description. Now there is a significant hump there in the center portion, but it is flat on top. Now looking through the glass, you can see it has a subwoofer right there, and then you have your anchors for your car seats. It has a locking fuel door that's on the passenger side, so you can talk your passenger into pumping the gas for you. It has a pretty traditional cap, tether, and a place to hang it here on the inside of the door. So looking at the back of the vehicle, gotta check out this spoiler back here. It's, it's, for a factory vehicle, this has a very prominent and noticeable spoiler. It's pretty neat. I like the way it's body colored as well. Okay, so it has the dual exhaust. And then the exhaust is split into a quad exhaust. And the STI badging. Now the backup camera is significantly uh, offset right here. So you can really tell when you're looking at the camera as you're backing up. So it's something you really have to get used to. It has these diffusers back here and it has that uh, carbon fiber look as well. The tail lights are a combination of LED and standard bulbs. It also has the turn signal indicator on the side mirrors. Okay, so you can use the key to open up the trunk, or we can just push a button under here. And it lifts up like so. And you lift it up the rest of the way yourself. Doesn't take much effort, though. And it goes up like that. Now you can see it's with such a big wing, then, uh, you know, it doesn't come close to the glass, which that was one thing I was concerned about.
Okay, so the trunk is really good size. I mean, looking at the outside of the vehicle, you'd think that, uh, you know, the trunk space would be kind of limited, but really, it's impressive looking. And then, like I said, I'll leave all the, all the specs in the description. So you have some tie downs there, and it's all carpeted, except for in this area. So you can actually see the, uh, the subwoofer speaker, uh, amplifier, that kind of thing. Now these seats will fold down in a 60-40 split fashion so you can add to your cargo space while still maintaining passenger space when needed. So this one came with the all-weather mats, but you also get the carpet mats with the 50th anniversary uh, badging on them and a net pocket and a little holder to um, you know, store that net pocket as well. Under here is a little storage area as well as a tool for your spare tire and jack but you're located under here. You also have a tow hook that mounts in the front or the back of the vehicle under a little cover on the bumper cover. I like the way the shark fin antenna is also body colored. Kind of blends in better, especially with the, the flow of, the, you know, kind of flowing into this uh, spoiler. The blind spot detection system has little indicators on both side mirrors. So that will illuminate when there's a vehicle in your blind spot. It will also illuminate if there's a vehicle uh, coming from either direction as you're pulling, backing out of a parking space. So it's the rear cross traffic alert system as well. So let's go ahead and start it up. We have the key inside the vehicle. It could be in a bag in your pocket, but I'm just gonna lay it there. And this one is a manual transmission. So we're gonna push and hold the clutch, the brake, and we're gonna push this button right here. Okay, so here's the floorboard in front of the driver's seat. Now you notice on the driver's side, the floor mat hooks in place in two places, unlike the passenger. And then you have the aluminum pedals with the raised rubber grips and a footrest here on the far left. It's looking pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take a look under the hood. To open the hood, there's a little latch to the right of the center. So there's your center line a little bit to the right. Right in here, you just reach down and move it to the left and you lift up. Doesn't take much effort. Just go up about right there and it goes up the rest of the way by itself. So there's your latch there. So you can see the hood is insulated and then you have that pass through for the air to go directly into the intercooler. So there's your intercooler, and that's between the turbocharger and the intake. So, you know, like I mentioned, it cools the air because it is heated up a little bit by the turbos. Okay, so this is what they call a boxer engine or a flat four. Basically, there is two cylinders going off this direction and two cylinders going off that direction. Uh, typically an inline floor, so you'll say I4 typically opposed to like say a V8 or something, uh, will, all the, four, the cylinders will be more vertical up and they'll be in a row. This one is flat. So uh, this helps out with the center of gravity. It also separates the cylinder heads so the heat can be dissipated uh, more efficiently. So that's where a lot of the heat is. That's where the, um, the combustion happens is right there. Uh, close to the cylinder head so there's a lot of heat being generated in those areas and so when you separate them they don't accumulate all the heat in one spot it's separated in two places so it can cool off a little bit better and this is an all aluminum engine or aluminium for some of you some people like to say that in in europe but uh i like the way it has that red intake this portion right here is like a almost like a parkerized or a rough feeling uh red intake and that basically takes the air that's cooled off from the intercooler splits it and goes you know one free cylinder there and one free cylinder on that side so there's two cylinders on each side like i mentioned so this is a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine putting out 305 horsepower that's pretty awesome it also has 290 
pound-feet of torque with a six-speed automatic transmission. All-wheel drive system also has a limited slip differential for the front and the back wheels. The inside of the driver's side door is just like the passenger side, except for it has a few more buttons. So you have your power window controls here. Now the front's your automatic one touch down and one touch up. Door lock controls and your side mirror adjustments are here. This little joystick, you just uh, pick a side and adjust it and move it around like so. I also want to mention that the sound system, it has a nine speaker sound system with 440 watts. That's pretty cool. So it has the power seat adjustments for the driver's side. So you have up, down, forward, back, all that good stuff. To the left of the steering column, you have the blind spot monitor system. You can turn that off. The dimmer switch for your interior gauges are here. The ability to open up the trunk. You can also turn off traction control in case you want to spin tires. Right here is a fuse box panel. It also has a telescoping and a tilt steering column that you lock in place right here. Okay, so let's take a look here on the inside. Sitting in the driver's seat, checking it out. So I have the seat all the way back, all the way down, and the back tilted a little bit. And just to give you an idea of my leg room, I'm six feet tall, and this probably would be slightly further back than what I would normally drive, just because of the clutch situation. The clutch does have a significant amount of travel, so I'd have to pull the seat up just a little bit, just so that way I can make sure that I disengage it without overextending my leg and ankle and all that stuff. Um, but that's just me. I really like the footrest. Okay, so looking at the steering wheel, it's a leather wrap steering wheel with a flat bottom. Then they had the STI badging there at the bottom with the gloss black. So it has a combination of smooth leather here at the bottom, transitions into that perforated leather with the grips there at the top and the silver stitching on the inside. Cruise control is here on the right side. On the left side, you have your volume for your radio. You can change through your audio tracks or presets on your radio as well. Mute there in the center. Uh, this button goes into a menu, depending on what screen you're in, right here, so you have more options and then you have a back button. You can change your audio source here. You also have a voice recognition and your Bluetooth controls here. These buttons correspond with the screen between the gauges, which we'll get to in just a minute. Windshield wiper controls are on the right side. Your turn signal is on the left, and also you'll find your headlight controls. You have off, automatic, parking, and your headlights on. Okay, so looking at the gauges, check it out. I really like the combination of red and and, and white here with the flat black background. It's easy to read, but it does that the addition of the red just kind of gives a little bit of a, a sportier styling. So your RPMs are there on the left side with your engine coolant temperature. On the right side is your speedometer with your fuel gauge. But right there in the center has a little digital screen giving us some additional information. So we have the miles per gallon at the very top. So as you're driving, it's gonna kinda give you a, uh, an estimate on how you're doing as well in kind of real time there. Just below that, it's showing uh, your S drive. Now you can change that using a button here or a knob, a combination of knob and button. So you turn it left to right to change your sport and sport sharp or push it down to go into your standard mode. So right now we're in the uh, standard mode. So what this is representing is the the torque of the engine as you're accelerating uh, in a a graph, I guess you can say. So um, so you can see it's like a gradual slope right now. 
So as, as we drive right now, it's going to kind of give us the, the torque kind of gradually throughout the RPM range or the acceleration. So if we change that, we can change that to the, uh, the sharp. So the sport sharp right there. So it gives us all up front and then, you know, it's all up at the front. So you don't have to, um, this is designed if you want to take off really fast. Uh, if you go to the left with this knob, this will take you to a little bit sharper than standard, but not as sharp as the, uh, as this is standard sport mode there. Then I push the button down, it goes back into the normal mode there. You can also, this vehicle has a center differential and that transfers the, the amount of power to the front and back. Now it has an automatic or a manual. So you can change that to automatic and then we can go up and down. Now what I'm doing is I'm using this right here. So your center differential and then you have the automatic and manual. So we can change that to the manual here. And then we have the automatic with, with a um, emphasis or through the front or the back depending on you know what our driving style is or what the conditions we're in or whatever the case may be and below that is your trip and your odometer so you have a lot more information over here in this screen so this one has a uh, <laughs> so you have your boost pressure your clock your outside temperature, what your climate's doing, that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna give a little bit of acceleration here so you can see your accelerator percentage, you can see your boost pressure, and your, has a little needle that's going up and down, it's all digitally represented. Now you can get for more information by using this button here. So let's kind of scroll through, just to kind of give you an idea of what's here. So we can scroll through, have a clock, fuel economy information like mile distance to empty, average miles per gallon, and then you can, it shows your a, a a visual reference on as far as how much torque is going to the front and rear wheels. Then your average kind of uh, kind of gauges right here. So your average miles per gallon, your accelerate percent, percentage, and then your um, So your miles per gallon average, you have your miles per gallon current, and then your acceleration right there. Scrolling down again, goes back to that main screen. So if I push up and go up and down, it's kind of scroll. Push and hold that and go into the set the settings, and then we can scroll through there and change what we want there. Alright. Okay, so here's your, your touch screen. It has a CD player. Now this one still has the um, the cover, a little protective plastic cover on it. So it's a it's actually a gloss black. Same thing with this down here. It has, still has that protective cover, which I'll leave on, but it's basically a gloss black when you peel it off. So CD player has that 2018. So I guess some people will still use that. And then you have your volume tuned through the stations, pretty traditional knobs there that everybody's accustomed to. Then your soft touch buttons here on the side. So you have your home button, which takes you to your, your main app. So your map, audio, phone, uh, different stuff like that. You can look at your map. You can look direct just at your, your apps here. So you have Pandora, Mirrorlink, Starlink, um, which connects to your cell phone and uses features off of it. And AHA uh, radio. So let's go to the audio screen. So you have your presets favorites there on the side. And then you're you know, just showing what's visual reference of what you're going on. And then you have AM, FM, satellite radio, and your different audio sources here. Uh, the ones that are grayed out like AHA, USB, Pandora, and your CD player, those are things that are not available. So once you set up Pandora, it'll show up here. Uh, if you put a disc in, then it'll show up. If you plug in a USB device, it'll show up um, and highlight. You can rearrange. Also, you have a micro SD input as well, which is located right there, that little tiny thing.
go into your navigation we can go into the menu we can put in a destination um, pretty standard as far as uh, your navigations go and then you have a trip monitor which will give you some information during a particular trip or after that trip you can kind of look at it climate control uh, you have a dual zone dr driver and passenger with the temperatures adjusted here and here fan speed is in the center you have your front and rear defrosters uh, recirculate the air your air conditioning uh, automatic and off so right now it's set to dual so that way your driver and passengers will be the same if I start changing the passenger side it will change separately now if I put dual off then it will um, stay off and I can adjust both of them with this but as soon as I start turning this one it, it turns it back to the dual mode and mode here is where you want the air to blow so it changes the direction of the air storage pocket with the 12 volt power supply and little storage area STI badging and this is your gloss black this is what this looks like without the plastic cover and the shifter six-speed manual transmission so it has first now you notice it's a very short throw shifter so we got first second third fourth fifth six and then reverse you lift this up move it far to the right and then down so that's your uh, reverse and then the backup camera will pop up here so you'll notice you might notice this at the since the camera is so offset um, you can see the center of the vehicle is way over here so that's something to get used to it is a wide angle view so you can see from the bumper to the sky and all the way around but uh you know it's one of those things where it would have been, I think it would have been better if the camera was more in the center position but it still gives you a visual you know see behind the vehicle anyway so there's those buttons I was telling you about as far as your sport modes your center differential adjustments automatic and manual then there's your parking brake handbrake heated seat controls here for your your front seats so you have a high and low and off so it's a two-stage this is a little rubber portion right here that you can put something there, your cell phone or something, and it won't slide around it so much because it is a rubberized surface. This little slides back and then you have some cup holders. Now you can take this portion out in case you want to utilize that space for more than just cups or a different shaped cup or something like that. You have that suede here in the armrest. It's a kind of a small armrest is far back and it's low down too so it's a little bit soft not super soft it is bottom out fairly quickly and this lifts up and this is where you'll find your two USB ports and auxiliary inputs and a 12 volt power supply and a little storage space rearview mirror is an auto dim rearview mirror you can turn that feature on or off here and then you have your home link garage door opener controls just below just under here above the rearview mirror you have some tap lights here and here you have emergency buttons in here and this will you know interact with your your system and your cell phone and you have the buttons for your sunroof which we'll get to in just a minute or on the window sticker it's called a moon roof the visor have mirrors and lights Does not extend out okay so let's look at the sunroof here so it has a, a shade that covers a hundred percent of the light we can move that back manually and we can tilt it up and a separate button here you have tilt on the left side on the right side this is where you actually open it up push it again it goes a little bit further back okay so let's look at the visibility in the back all right so you can see the uh, the wing is back there but it doesn't really get in the way too much as far as your visibility 
um, kind of sticks up and it's not that far below the roof but uh but yeah the visibility is not too bad I mean you do have of course like every other vehicle blind spots there and the headrests do get in the way a little bit now of course you can fold down the seats if you're worried about that if you don't have any rear passengers if you do have rear passengers then it'll probably be their heads getting in the way Okay, so there you have it, 2018 Subaru WRX STI in the Anniversary Edition. So this is one of 200 vehicles like it on in, in the United States. So very rare, and I'm really happy to be able to show off, show off one of these vehicles. And thank you to, for watching, and thank you to Parkway Subaru here in Wilmington, North Carolina. And I'll see you guys next time.